Hello everyone. I thought I'd help take a few moments to better explain what you're going to be doing this week in your business plan. Okay, so let's take a look at this a minute. On the template, this week you're dealing with the finance section. And the way that any business plan, any research paper, or any project, um, the format that it, it should be in is this. First of all, this is a header. Okay, all these are headers. Okay, so essentially what you're doing is this is the main header for this section. You should have a 250 word introduction to the section. And what I mean by that is you've done all this work. Okay, you've done your profit and loss, you've done your base fee, you've done your equipment list, everything. Okay, so now tell me about it in your finance introduction. Tell me about it. Tell me what I can expect to read within this section of your paper. The next thing you want to do is come to the startup capital. And um, this one is relatively easy. Um, you're going to copy and paste your 250 word summary for the for your document. And I'll show you in just a second. Let me go ahead and open up somebody's project. Was, uh, for the startup capital, it was assignment two. So I'm going to come down here, open up somebody's project, and essentially I'm going to start out up here with the personal overhead, and I'm just going to highlight it for a little bit, come down to the end using the shift key, and select it. And I don't want to do this for you know all of it at one time because there's a page separation here and you want to keep everything looking professional and and neat and you want to keep everything together so I've got that selected so I'm going to come in here to the startup capital and paste and I'm going to have to fix this because as you can see it picked up the um, it picked up the format of the other part so let me change that and take out the bold. Okay, so the next thing I want to do at this point, I want to hit return. And I do want this to start up at the top of this page here or wherever it falls, but make sure that everything is good. No spaces, no nothing. Okay, so the next portion that I want to do is the, the business overhead. Again, just highlighting a little bit, go down to the bottom, holding down the shift key, select it, copy it. I have my cursor where I need it to be and paste it. Okay, so this one was, was relatively easy, no problem, right? Okay, so what do we do when we get to the profit and loss? That isn't a problem either. Okay, so likewise, I need that summary, 250 word summary. And I'm gonna to go to assignment four where you did the profit and loss. Copy my summary, which should be 250, 250 words minimum. So profit and loss. And I'm just gonna paste it. And now I'm ready to insert my worksheet. So I've hit return here. There's my cursor right there. And now up here on the menu under insert, and if you're on a PC, it'll be in tab form um, on your version of window of uh, Word. You want to go to insert object right here. And you want to um, insert your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, right? And I want to do this from file. I want to select it from my computer, choose profit and loss, and insert. So there you go. Even though it looks a little funky here, don't worry about it. Whoever's reading your business plan, if they want to see your numbers, see what your net profit and loss is for the year, they can expand it out. Okay, or they can ask you to hand it in separately. So it's not a big deal. And then finally, 
Now remember what I said. In up here on the um, finance introduction, you're you're giving me an oversight, an overview of what I'm going to read, right? That's what this is for. You will have to write that one. And then you're going to state all your information by copying and pasting it here. And then when you get down to the conclusion area, you're going to tell me what I've already read. In other words, what conclusions can I come to when I read your summary? What is your conclusion to all this? Now that you've done this work, how is this going to benefit you? What do you need to do? Um, where is this going to take your business? Okay, so same thing in, in every section. Tell me what I'm going to read, state all the facts, and then in the summary, final, tell me what I've already read. Okay, so that's essentially what you're doing. But you cannot copy and paste the introduction summary that you did because that was a different purpose. Here you need to conclude the finance summary and close the deal. Okay, so that's how these all work. If you have any questions, just let me know. And then the other portions that aren't listed here, for example, your equipment list, you should have a 250 word uh, summary for that. Office equipment, just go ahead and include that within the equipment portion. The facilities and operations, um, you should be telling me about where you wish to take your business. Remember, this is a business plan. This is where you want to take it. Um, if you're giving your business plan to a banker, what do you want to do with this money that you're being loaned? Do I want to, do you need to hire people? That would be the operations. Do you need it for the stakeholders? Facilities, did you want to open a, a, a studio, blah, blah, blah. Um, all this information needs to be in there, okay? Never skip a header, never remove a header. And let's see, I want to see something real quick. Okay, and never remove a header from your table of contents, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Give me a call, email, post questions under the questions for Professor Thread. Thank you so much.